Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bent Knitters. This week's video is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to be about how to do a web stitch for combining two pieces of knit work together. The second part is going to be about an upcoming giveaway that you all can enter into. So stay, make sure you stay tuned for that. So the first part is going to be the web stitch. If you have been tuning into my live streams on Thursday nights, you may have recognized the fact that my squares that I've been working for this odds and ends blanket but uh, it's time to knit two stitches together uh, two squares together I've already started a little bit but one recommendation I do want to make is make sure you kind of connect um, the ends one end so you know that everything matches up on your squares or your two art pieces it doesn't have to be with a bobby pin or you can kind of choose how to fashion that way you know everything will line up and work out well now for the whip stitch what you're going to do you're going to get a need a tapestry needle um, you can get these in Michael's Joann's or pretty common um, as you can see it's a little bit different than normal needles It's quite a bit bigger with a bigger eye for your thread so you're going to take the tapestry needle and go into the one bar one side of the stitch on one part then on the other side you're going to go on to the other bar so it's going to be straight across from each other and the yarn is just going to wrap around bringing the two pieces together so again you're going to go into one bar the top side of this stitch and the bottom bar the bottom side of this stitch right here and you're gonna just bring it around so as you can see and you that's what you're just gonna do it's an easy just kind of um, go uh, work around so that way it kind of blends in nicely to the two squares usually you'll uh, work with yarn that matches both sides of the project but uh, with this it's not as important to match all colors since it is kind of odds and ends and all sorts of colors so again I'm gonna go into one uh, one bar like so and then you're going to go into oops, the other bar on the other side and it's just going to go around like so. So that's the whip stitch. Um, it's one of the easier ways to uh, sew two pieces of yarn works together. Now for the second part I'm going to have two different give uh, two giveaways this time. Um, it's going to but there's going to be a little bit more prizes this time. Um, so I have two uh, versions of this. I'm going to be giving away a yarn bowl Da, da, da. Um, both of them are going to look very similar to this. Uh, this is one of them. Um, also, I am going to be giving away a uh, Lion Brands Just Wrap, which is all about knitted wraps, which are very cool, very easy, but this is both for knit and crochet, so um, either way, um, you'll be getting quite a few patterns. And the last one is going to be um, a bigger book of vintage styles for today of kind of bigger projects to knit and crochet. Look, f I looked through these both and they're both quite awesome in terms of variety of patterns, complexities. So there's going to be two uh, two sets of these. All I have to do is subscribe and comment down in the description below whether you knit or crochet. So again, subscribe and make sure you comment down below whether you knit or crochet because I'm curious. Uh, but again, there's going to be two prizes, two sacks of a yarn bowl and two bucks for, uh, for you guys to win. Um, just let, let me know down in the comments and don't make sure you subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye.